Greetings everybody, welcome to Epic TV. When National Geographic nominated Mike Lebecki for their Adventure of the Year awards, they described him as a climber turned explorer and the consummate adventurer with more than 45 expeditions to his name. Welcome to Epic TV. Nice man, thanks for having me here, appreciate yeah. it. And yeah. you brought your daughter Liliana with you, welcome to yeah. Epic TV. Thank you. And so what, why are you in Chamonix? Uh, so I came out to do a little presentation. I got the opportunity to talk about one of my favorite places on the planet, and that's Queen Maudland, Antarctica, home to some of the most remote walls on the planet. So pretty cool place. Yeah, and those are big granite walls? Or yeah. And how big are they? So big granite walls, two to 3,000 feet, some up close to 4,000 feet. And uh, we went out there actually with National Geographic, and uh, it was an incredible trip, and we captured a really cool story that's actually going to come out in late summer. On the other end of the scale, you just got back from a climbing trip in Yemen. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about that trip. Yeah, I just got back about a week and a half ago, and um, Yemen is an incredible place. Of course, it's being with culture that's changed very little in the last couple thousand years. I mean, really interesting culture. Um, not necessarily a place you can go just kind of do whatever. You got to be really safe. As an American going there, it can be very sensitive. But I went to an island called Socotra Island, and there's beautiful big granite towers and there's awesome deep water soloing. I mean, it's an awesome place. So I w it's my second time I went back there because it's so incredible. A lot of first descent potential. Right on. You, you seem to go to some pretty remote places. But where do you get that motivation to, to get so far out there? You know, it's just, like I said, it, the best way to describe it is organic enthusiasm. It's like, why do you like chocolate ice cream more than vanilla? We don't know, we just like it. And so I just, I love going to remote places and I love doing first ascents. And there's, there's something about the challenge. There's something about, you know, going out there, the research and just everything it takes even before you leave your front door um, to, do, to do it. It's a huge equation. I love mathematics and it's just this giant equation of variables and see if I can make it happen. Yeah, but the, the hacking your way through jungles and the, mm -hmm. the suffering that's uh, <laughs> compounded. Yeah. Well, I think uh, there are a few things that ad adventure requires, and one of those things is suffering to, for the payoff. Another thing is mystery, um, not knowing what's out there. So um, without mystery, there is no adventure, really. So. Yeah. So Mike, after 45 expeditions, you must have seen some miserable days. I've got to say, some of the 100 mile an hour wind days where your tent gets shredded and you're cuddled into a little fetal position, kind of hoping you're going to survive. Those are pretty tough. But I'd say um, probably the worst time ever was soloing a tower in Afghanistan. This beautiful big ibex horn shaped tower and I was uh, soloing it, you know, as a first ascent and I had some big rock fall come off naturally. And if I was in a position five minutes earlier as I was climbing, I was traversing, I wouldn't be here today. 100%, at least two tons of rock just came off and chopped two of my ropes halfway through um, that were coming back, but I had just come out of this traverse of a really dicey section of rock, and it just <laughs> just crumbled through. And I mean, it was really scary. It was, you know, I thought about my daughter and what am I doing here? And, you know, I believe that climbing is 100% safe. You know, that's my belief. It's a calculated risk and it's safe. But at that moment, it was, it was tough. Liliana, what do you think about your dad doing all this crazy stuff? I think it's amazing that he can go on all these trips and explore, but sometimes I really do miss him and wish he would come back. Yeah, I can imagine. Huh? Do you ever worry about him? Mm -hmm, a lot. Yeah? Do you think that one day you'll uh, go with him on some of these adventures? I hope. So what's next for you? Well, what's next as far as expeditions yeah. is um, I've got a trip up to northern Russia coming up, um, over to the border of China and Kyrgyzstan, um, back to Indo Indonesia, and also back to Antarctica. So quite a few things on the on the docket. Mike, thank you so yeah. much for coming yeah, in. Yeah, Rob. Best Thanks of luck me. in Appreciate your uh, upcoming adventure. Liliana, great to meet you. You too. That's it for this episode. Join us next time. Until then, charge hard and take chances.